Notebook LM is amazing if you have lots of fragmented information scattered across videos, PDFs, and other documents that you want to turn into useful content. Even better, if you want to learn from that information, you can actually create an interactive AI podcast with you as the guest, which is absolutely insane. So in this video, I'm going to be walking through how to get the most out of Google's Notebook LM and show you why it's a game changer. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump right in by heading straight over to notebooklm.google and then clicking the try button. We're first going to jump over and create a new notebook. So I'm going to click create new and then you can see this sources box pops up and this is basically where we upload all of our fragmented information. You can see you can connect it up to Google Drive to access your docs and slides. You can add in a link from any website or YouTube video, and you can also just paste in text. Now, a quick tip here, before we dive in and upload all of our sources of information, I'm just gonna close this down, and I'm just gonna rename this untitled notebook. So I'm gonna put YouTube summaries, and if I then hit enter, that's actually named my notebook now, and you'll see why that's important a little bit later on. Now, just to give you an overview of the user interface for Notebook LM, on the left side, we've got all of our sources, and we can shrink this down if we want. In the center, we've got our chat area, where we're actually gonna interact with all the material that we've uploaded. And on the right-hand side, we've got the ability to do something with our content. So that might be creating notes or summaries, or we can also access the interactive conversational tool, which can build out an AI podcast that we can actually be a guest on. But before we get there, we're just gonna add our sources now we've named our notebook. So I can click on add source in the sources area or from the main chat window. And I'm just gonna show you how to add a YouTube video. So if I click on YouTube, and then I jump over to my channel, I'm just gonna copy one of the links to one of my ChatGPT videos, and I'm gonna paste this in, and I'm gonna click Insert. And as you can see, that's then added the YouTube video into our sources list on the left. You can see it's already pulling in some of the transcript and details here, and we can also add a note here, create an audio overview, or a kind of briefing document. Now, if I continue to add sources, I could add more YouTube documents, I could add something from my blog. So let's say I wanna upload this blog post about ChatGPT. I can copy the URL, and again, I can choose website, paste in the URL, and insert this, and this is then added to it. So anything that's an added source that's got a tick against it is going to be active when we're actively searching it or creating materials or generating our AI-powered podcast. So I'm gonna keep both of these active at the moment, and I'm gonna say something like, uh, you know, how does ChatGPT enhance various study methods? And this allows me to then interact with all of this content. And the source library is really generous. You can add 50 pieces of information on the basic free plan. And then if we want to upgrade, we can upgrade to Notebook LM Plus, which I'll show you in a second. Now, as we're working through this, I can save this note, I can copy this information and share it out. And it references absolutely everything that I'm doing. So if I click on one of these little reference points, it will actually pull out the source guide, show me the video, and it will show me some of the transcript where it's got this information from. If I'd uploaded a PDF, it would do exactly the same thing. It will also show us things like different key topics. If I click on Active Recall here, it will automatically pull this into the chat window and it will tell me a little bit more about Active Recall as I'm learning. So as you can imagine, if you're studying for something or you're doing some research, this really takes on other knowledge tools and is a little bit more flexible and prone to less hallucination than ChatGPT. Okay, this is the really exciting bit. So if we wanna actually generate a podcast here as a new way to engage with this information, we can use the deep dive conversation tool on the right. So if I click on customize first, I can actually get the AI host to focus on certain areas. So for example, if I just want to focus on, let's say, ChatGPT prompts for productivity from the sources I've uploaded, they will try and focus the conversation around that. Equally, if you want the host to teach you something and be a little bit more educational, you can put this in with this custom prompt. I'm just gonna leave it blank for the moment to show you what this is like, and I'm gonna hit generate. And this is then gonna work away in the background to generate our AI podcast that we can actually interact with. If we look here, we can also build out a couple of other things. We can build out like an FAQ, we can build out a briefing document or a timeline if we're uploading things like data or things with timestamps, which is just incredibly helpful. So if I look at this FAQ, you can see 
it's already generated things like what's ChatGPT and what can it do? And these can all then be manipulated, they can be copied, and we can see where they've been referenced from. Now, while our audio conversation is generating in the studio, I'm just gonna hop out to show you what's available on Notebook LM Plus. So in Notebook LM Plus, you can see that we're getting all of the individual features, including Gemini 2.0, the ability to upload all of our sources and generate audio overviews and listen on the go conversations. But we're also getting more space for audio overviews, notes, and queries. We're able to customize the style and length of our notebook responses in a little bit more detail with custom prompts. And we're also able to access team-based shared folders of our notes, as well as additional privacy and security settings, which is great if you're a small team or you're looking to integrate this into your larger business. If you want to access Notebook LM Plus, you need to head over into your Google Workspace and activate it. And it comes as part of the Gemini for Business tier, which is around $20 per user per month within your organization. And that also grants you access to all of the Gemini 2.0 features. Okay, and that's taken around about 60 to 90 seconds to generate a 21 minute audio podcast, which I can then share, or I can alter the playback speed, or I can even download it and listen to it on the go. And we've also got this cool new interactive feature where I can be part of the podcast myself. So let's just listen to the quality of this podcast first. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're taking a deep dive into all things chat GPT, especially how to use it effectively. Excited to be here. We've got some really interesting stuff to explore. Our listeners have sent us some articles and even a YouTube video all about ChatGPT. Sounds like a lot to unpack. Yeah. And honestly, even before looking at the sources, I was already kind of blown away by all the things ChatGPT can do. Mm -hmm. It's not just writing essays or anything. No, not at all. It feels like it's applicable to like almost anything. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It really feels like ChatGPT is changing what's possible with AI, you know? Totally. Just think about how we work. Okay, now that's already pretty mind blowing. The voices are incredible and there's almost no latency between the two speakers. They're also speaking in a very conversational way, which is pretty awesome and lends itself really nicely if you love listening to podcasts on the go to learn information. But let's now check out the interactive audio mode, which is even more mind blowing. When I click into interactive mode, you'll see I get this join button and I can actually jump in any time in the conversation. So I'm going to hit play first. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're taking a deep dive into all things ChatGPT especially how to use it effectively. Excited to be here. Oh, our listeners got something to share. Let's hear it. Hey, I was wondering if you tell me what your favorite ChatGPT prompts are. Oh, hey there. That's a great question. I'm really glad you asked. Yeah, that's a perfect thing to explore. It gets right to the heart of how we can use this tech. Okay, so to pick just one favorite is hard, you know, because there are so many cool things. But if I had to choose, I'd say I'm really fascinated by those that let you use it to enhance images. Oh yeah, that's a good one. The ability to improve product photos and really make them stand out. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, you could take a normal photo and use ChatGPT to fix the lighting, remove the background, add in visual effects. It really makes things pop. It's that kind of practical application that makes it so exciting, yeah. And another one I like, that, oh yeah, let's hear it. I think that's really cool. What about ones where it improves your productivity? Oh, that's a fantastic question. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, that's a really important area to explore with this technology. Okay, so if we're talking productivity, there are definitely a few prompts that come to mind. Yeah, and it's not just about saving time, but working more efficiently. One that I found was about using ChatGPT as a personal assistant to transcribe handwritten notes. Oh yeah, that's really practical. I mean, you can just take a photo and it turns your messy handwriting into organized text. That's such a time saver. And it also is really helpful if you need help creating a study timetable. Absolutely, yeah. So it's not just about generating content. Right, it's about organizing and streamlining so you can make better use of your time. And there was also the use case about... So pretty cool, right? It's really fun being able to jump into a podcast and actually bounce ideas and questions back off the podcast host. It does sound a little bit conversational, and if you wanna to get to the information quickly, often using chat or just directly asking a question using your voice is often a little bit more direct and faster, but it's a great way to boost engagement and keep things really interesting and exciting. You can also download these interactive conversations and share them with others and take them out and about with you if you like walking with your podcast. So that's a deep dive into the latest updates to Notebook LM from Google. I'd highly recommend diving in and using it because it's completely free. And if you are on Google Workspace or you pay for any of the Google personal tiers, then you also get access to some of the other features like an expanded number of sources and some of those security and team-based features, which is really cool.
Now, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I've got some other really great practical walkthroughs looking at some of the latest updates to ChatGPT that will pop up over here. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing, and I'll catch you again in the next video. See ya.